My name is Belle Wellborn and this is my Art Denti story. I go to Brunel University. I'm a senior there and I'm currently student teaching at Spout Springs Elementary and Flowery Branch. Some of my passions is hanging out with my sorority sisters and shaping young ones' minds. Like I said, I am a teacher and I've always had a heart for that. I actually attended a presentation that Jennifer facilitated during a Brunel class that I was taking. I was so excited about the opportunity to to teach in another country. I'm a full-time college student and I have a part-time job at Pizza Hut so I couldn't afford to pay my bills on top of paying for this awesome opportunity. So I reached out to one of the sponsors and I wrote him a letter about my situation and he was so gracious and I will forever be thankful for the person who supported me. I wasn't nervous because I have flown before. There was some girls that were scared about flying, but um, I was just excited really to experience a culture outside of where I'm from. I enjoyed the girls that I traveled with so much. We continue to talk to this day. We are all in a group chat and we still send messages and pictures from Belize and reminisce on things. So our trip was special. It was pandemic. <laughs> there were a lot of things that we couldn't do, but there was also a lot of things that we could do. And we were able to explore and experience Belize. Even though um, we were in the middle of a pandemic, our impact was still great while we were in Belize. Um, the community was frightened. Everyone was sure to wear their mask and wash their hands and have a socially distanced atmosphere. So my expectations were beyond crazy. My expectations of going into the trip was that Belize was going to be this very dangerous place and I would have to stay with my group. Also, I heard about the water, you couldn't drink it, so I was scared about that. But my, but the reality was everyone's so welcoming. They were so excited that we were there to help their students within their community and the reality was perfect. The people there were awesome. The most impactful thing was driving into the community that the school was in and we arrived to Belize after two hurricanes and just seeing the state of the roads and the houses and the rebuilding that was occurring. The students were so excited to see us. Whenever they saw our white van pull into the school, they started running. I think the kids were so excited to be loved on. Um, all they wanted, they didn't want material things. They didn't want um, to take anything home from us. They wanted to give to us, so they gave us um, snacks and they brought little paper things that they made and they just wanted to dance and sing with us. They just liked our presence there. The um, education system there is really playing catch up with the students. Um, they're behind in phonics and obviously literacy, reading and writing. Their math and their science and social studies skills um, are lacking. They're having to complete assignments in paper packets. So if a student does not know how to read or write, think about kindergartners to first and even second and third grade, it's hard and difficult for them to complete these packets because they can't even read the instructions. So they really have to rely on their parents and um, the parents is literacy problem is obviously an issue as well. We had a small group that traveled to Belize this um, past November so each teacher or each student that went got their own classrooms. Personally I was with the younger students and we worked on phonics which is sounding out words. Jennifer and I we were collaborating together and when we first went in there we were like what do we do? These because I was with the younger kids. What do we do with them? They cannot read these packets. The information that is in here is too advanced for them. What can we do? We decided to start at ground zero. We started with recognize the letters and um, in the alphabet, say them, sound them out. We started with that and then we moved on to blending those sounds together and reading words. We, so we started really from the beginning because we didn't have a starting point with these students. So by the 10th day that we left, there was a schedule set and the students came in and they knew that 
either they were opening up their packets to a certain page or the students were sitting down and they were looking at the board ready for us to learn. And um, in the beginning, the students were not able to read words. They weren't even able to recognize and sound out some letters. And by the time that we left, they were reading simple words like cat and dog and recognizing the words immediately and were able to call them off. So service learning can be very hard mentally and physically. Um, whenever you're at the school, you're sweating and right now we're wearing these masks and it's stressful because you're trying to teach these students things and they may not have the skill that you're trying for them to use. So after experience a really stressful day, it's nice to relax and have fun as well. So it's a good balance between stress and helping and having fun while you're in another country. The excursions were so much fun. We got to explore within Belize and Belize's um, Belizean islands. We traveled to a private island and we were able to hang out on the beach all day and eventually we pulled out the snorkels and it was my first time ever snorkeling so as soon as we went underwater it was like a different world. Um, we had we saw coral and fish and we were able to pick up starfish and it was definitely a once in a lifetime experience. We got to experience the food and the culture, the music. We got to explore the Mayan ruins. I've never experienced a ancient ruin of any kind. So when whenever we got there, at first it was just a field and then you walk through this field and then you end up at these great monuments that were built forever ago and it was definitely interesting to see. Everything that we did was so impactful and different than anything that you could experience um, learning in America. Each night we were able to reflect on our experiences throughout the day. So there was something going on that was different in each classroom. So each person was able to share what they decided to do that day with their students and some techniques and strategies that they used that worked and some things that didn't. But um, what one thing that was common was that we saw improvement every single day in not only the students' abilities, but their motivation to learn. My trip was amazing. It definitely changed the way that I view not only education, but also the world. It showed me how we are so privileged in America and how our education system is so advanced and we definitely take it for granted. Um, it was nice to see all of the children come to the school at the beginning and really struggling, but they were so eager to learn and through their eagerness to learn and their motivation, we were able to um, to, to see some progression throughout the week with the kids. I feel like I will forever be a better teacher and a more effective teacher since I have traveled with Ardenti to Belize. I definitely learned while I was in Belize that it is so important to develop modifications and accommodations for each student. There were students in Belize and U.S. alike that are very capable and have many skills and then there's some that lack them and it's always important to make sure that each child is learning because every child has the right to learn. And it's our job as teachers, whether we're in Belize or in, in America, to make sure that children are doing so. One of Bernal's main focuses within the educational program is that each teacher should recognize that each student comes from a different culture and background. And there's many courses that introduces multicultural education within your instruction. And traveling with our Denti is a great way to put that idea into practice. If I could speak to someone about traveling with our Denti, I would tell them to do it. I would tell them, don't worry about the money, you'll figure it out. You need to go and insert yourself into these communities and into these cultures. Not only will you leave an impact on the students' lives, they will leave an impact on you that you will carry with you for the rest of your life. Ardenti Global Service Learning. Go passionately.